Hello all, in today's lecture we are going to discuss about impact of jet on wings. I am Rali Navsai Divya, working as assistant professor in Spurti Engineering College pursuing PhD in Kerala University. In today's video lecture we are going to discuss about the introduction about impact of jet, force exerted on stationary flat plate held normal to the jet force exerted on stationary curved plate when the jet strikes at the center of the vane, force exerted on stationary symmetrical curved plate when the jet strikes tangentially at one tip of the vane, force exerted on the stationary unsymmetric curved plate when the jet strikes tangentially at one tip of the vane. If you can be clear like all the veins are at in stationary position. So, the veins are fixed for uh, whatever forces we are going to solve in or find out the derivations in today's video lecture. We are going to derive the equations for stationary plates. Um, at the completion like after the completion of the uh, lecture you can understand the occurrence of momentum force in fluids. Uh, you can use the momentum equation to determine various forces for various problems. You can even determine the resultant momentum forces for various types of veins and apply that particular application for various closed contact flows like bends or nozzles. And you can estimate the reaction forces, you can calculate uh, for the target veins uh, if a vein is given for a particular situation and if you are uh, needed to design you can do it compare the efficiency of striking of jet on various veins. So, you can uh, come out with various outcomes after listening to this particular lecture. Coming to the introduction about impact of jet. If you can see the left side figure, I have um, I just put a line diagram where which, which is showing a nozzle um, and uh, there is a flat plate which is held normal to the nozzle. It's the right side figure, it is taken from the laboratory. So, here a, a jet is uh, um, like um, um, a, the, uh, you can see a curved vein uh, and a jet of water in the left side figure which is taken from the lab. Now, coming to the exact point like why we need this particular topic, how it is relevant, why we need to study this. So, introduction about impact of jet, what is jet and what is this impact and how where we use it that is the major question you people will have when you are learning a topic. So, uh, what is this where we use it is most important right. So, uh, you all know electricity is the basic need for society. How we get the electricity it is from generator fine what is generator? A generator is a device that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. Again I am repeating device that con converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Generators do, do not produce electricity on their own. They must first collect mechanical energy from outside source. So what are the common sources from which they are collecting mechanical energy? Probably from wind, from high pressure stream, from falling water or flowing water. So they are collecting some mechanical energy and they are able to convert that particular mechanical energy to electrical energy. That is what this generator is doing. For converting this particular mechanical energy to electrical energy, we need turbine and generator coupled together. So, designing the turbine is very much important depending on the application, depending on the resource, depending upon the need. What is the resource available? What is the need? What should be the capacity? So, there are variety of veins. So, what, how these veins are, uh, this turbine has to move. So, that particular when this is moving, turbine is moving, this particular uh, motion that is mechanical energy is taken to the generator, electricity like electrical energy, mechanical to electrical. But, turbine has to move. When we want turbine to move, we have to exert some force on the turbine and the force which we are exerting 
exiting on the turbine will not be same for all the conditions. It vary according to the cross sectional diameter, uh, cross sectional area or diameter of the jet. It varies depending on the position. It varies according to the uh, design parameters like dimensions, position. So, there are many things which are influencing the output. So, it is very much required for you to understand the impact of jet, how to calculate if, if, if the jet is coming and striking the vein, what is that? What will be the output? How you have to calculate it? If without knowing the force, how can you calculate the work done? So, knowing the force, to calculate the force is most important task which we, you need to understand for solving this problem. So, before we go in, into the derivation part, you need to understand basically what is vein. Because I am talking about generators, I am talking about turbines, but what is vein? Because impact of jet on vein. So, vein, it is a single blade. See, there is a pic, a picture which is given in the PPT, if you can see. It is actually a Kaplan turbine. It is an hydraulic turbine, axial turbine. So, there are about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, some, uh, some blades which are attached to the impeller. So, this particular blades, we can call them as blades, we can call them as veins. So, these, this particular vein, a single vein, we are going to see the impact of jet on a single particular blade or simply a vein. That is the first terminology which you need to remember while discussing about this particular topic that is vein. Next is water jet. What is jet? See jet of water, uh, impact of jet on impact of uh, impact of jet on veins, impact of jet. What is jet? Jet it, it, a jet of water. It, it is as simple as that when the water is uh, pressurized and it is made to move with higher velocity. You can just see this figure which is there. So, when you can see the, 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 the man is able to fly just because of the impact to be created due to the jet which is being, um, which is dropping uh, down, you can see the impact uh, of jet there. So, this is one of the example. So, this is one of the example I can give you. Uh, here, if you can see, it is the jet cutting machine. So, with the jet of water, we can have a cutting process. If you can see this component, this component is made by just cutting the, by, uh, just by using the water jet. So, this is the two specific terminologies which are very important when you are going to discuss about this. One is vein, the, the, the next one is water jet. Yeah, coming to the exact point, that is the first point, force exerted on stationary plate held normal to the jet. If you can see this figure very clearly, to a pipe we are connecting nozzle. Nozzle, why nozzle? Because we want the water to flow with higher velocity, higher velocity when the water is flowing it will have some impact which is being exerted on the vein. So, you can see a flat vein which is hatched like which is held normal to the jet. So, this is before and after. So, before the velocity is V in x direction after striking like before striking it is V after striking it is 0 because there is no velocity in x direction after striking that is what this figure is telling us. Consider a jet of water striking normally on a flat plate held perpendicular to the flow direction as shown in the figure. The jet after striking the plate will deflect will be deflected through an angle of 90 degree. So, uh, actually this is the diagram for this we are not deriving it. If you can see involving impulse momentum equation the force exerted by the jet of water. See, uh, we are applying impulse momentum equation. What is this impulse momentum equation? F is equal to ma uh, for this uh, for a particular period. So, for a unit time 
ma mass into acceleration mass into acceleration what is acceleration change in velocity with respect to time so unit time so the same application uh, which has been derived from newton second law we are applying that newton second law to this particular application that is impact of jet on wings so if you can see here the equation fx is equal to force is equal to force in x direction is equal to mass into mass into change in velocity so mass of fluid striking the plate for unit time into change in velocity mass is density area velocity rho a v in brackets v1 minus v2 so v1 minus v2 v1 is initial velocity v1 is this before striking and v2 is this after striking so v1 becomes v and v2 becomes zero because there is no velocity in x direction after striking the plate so the equation becomes rho a v square so fx force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction of jet is equal to rho a v square so this is the equation for this particular condition fx is equal to rho a v square next we will come to this particular jet which is striking the curved plane at the center if you can see this figure it is a curved plate it is a fixed one right so the if we consider the angle of deflection as theta so before striking the plate the there is a velocity of v in x direction but after striking the jet is deflected with an angle of theta you can see here the blue lines in which the velocity v is inclined at theta degree so we need to resolve the forces in x and y directions so when the force uh, when the velocity is moving with uh, angle theta when we are resolving this velocity in x direction we get v cos theta in y direction we get v sin theta so uh, you, you, you again i am just repeating it before 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 striking the plate the initial velocity was v v is in x direction there is no velocity in y direction so there is only velocity in x direction after that if you can see this this um, blue lines where the jet is after striking the plate the direction of velocity is v with a, with angle theta so we are resolving the forces in x and y direct uh, sorry resolving the velocities in x and y directions so v cos theta and v sin theta now how is the velocity the velocity before striking is in the positive direction and the velocity after striking is in the negative direction please remember this particular point because positive direction we need to take it plus and negative direction we need to take it as minus so same equation where we have applied before fx is equal to m into v1 minus v2 m per second so mass per second into v1 minus v2 in x direction if you are deriving this equation you can simply see initial velocity of water jet in the direction of jet is equal to v and final velocity of jet in the direction of jet that is x x axis it is minus v cos theta why it is minus because the velocity is moving in negative direction so we are applying the same equation rho a v that is mass per unit time mass per second into v1 minus v2 v1 is v v2 is minus v cos theta so this is the equation fx is equal to rho a v square in brackets 1 plus cos theta this is for the force exerted by the jet on a curved plate where the jet is striking at the center this is fx now we will go and resolve the fy fy see in place of fx we are getting fy right so fy will go now right fy m into m per second into v1 minus v2 when 
v1 y will be zero because there is no velocity in y direction before striking the plate and after striking the plate it is v sin theta so if you can see uh, v v v1 y is equal to zero initial velocity of the water jet in vertical direction there is no vertical uh, there is no velocity in vertical direction before striking the plate but after striking the plate there is a velocity component in y direction that is v sin theta minus will not come because it is moving upward so when uh, something is moving upward it is taken as positive and when it is moving downward we take it as negative so it is uh, then the equation becomes rho a v v1 minus v2 in y direction so v1 y is equal to 0 v2 y becomes minus uh, sorry uh, v sin theta so 0 minus v sin theta so the equation becomes f y is equal to minus rho a v square sin theta so this is for the next condition we are now going for the third condition third condition i need not repeat the same uh, uh, terminologies or the e uh, the relations like impulse momentum equation again because you have been uh, we have been telling the same thing for uh, two conditions now we'll directly go for the equation if you can see f this figure the in this particular figure the jet is striking the plate but how it is striking the plate it is striking tangentially so we consider it is striking the plate at theta angle and it is exiting the plate at theta angle as uh, we can we are considering this particular curved plate to be symmetric so for a symmetric plate inlet will have a deflection of theta and outlet will also have a angle deflection angle of theta so if you are seeing this figure it is entering uh, with v uh, in x direction it is v cos theta in y direction it is v sin theta and again when it is exiting it is exiting with velocity v and with angle of theta so v cos theta in negative direction is v cos theta and in upward direction that is y direction it is v sin theta so if you can see fx is equal to mass per second initial velocity minus final velocity rho a v mass per second into v1 x v1 x is v cos theta in positive direction minus v2 x v2 x is v cos theta in negative direction so the equation becomes v cos theta minus of minus v cos theta so finally the equation becomes 2 rho a v square cos theta now coming to f y f y f1 y see the velocity before striking is v sin theta and the velocity after striking is also v sin theta so v1 v1 y is v sin theta and v2 y is uh, v sin theta so it gets cancelled and there is f y becomes zero so this is the force exerted on the vein where the jet is hitting tangentially at one tip, uh, one tip and the vein is symmetric now let us go for the next uh, yeah next one this particular diagram if you can see here it is not symmetric the angle of deflection at inlet is alpha and the angle of deflection at outlet is beta so entering velocity uh, is v at alpha angle exiting velocity v is at beta angle so when you are resolving the forces at inlet it becomes in x direction it is v cos alpha in y direction v sin alpha at exit in x direction v cos beta and v sin beta alpha beta so this is what is that we have the difference so if you can see rho a v v1 x minus v2 x v cos alpha minus v sin alpha but but this v v cos beta 
this is in negative direction so it becomes minus of minus so in the next equation I have made it plus so cos alpha plus cos beta now coming to the f y rho a v v 1 y minus v 2 y so v sin alpha minus v sin beta so upward directions so at inlet initial velocity is v sin alpha at outlet final velocity is v sin beta so the equation becomes rho a v square sin alpha minus sin beta so for this the resultant force will be the f is equal to root of f x square minus f y square resultant force inclination you all know uh, tan theta is equal to f y minus f y divided by f x so angle of deflection if you need to find out then you need to just uh, um, use this equation 180 degrees minus alpha plus beta so in today's lecture you have learned four things that is uh, four derivations that is force exerted on the uh, force exerted by the jet on the normal plate next is curved plate when the jet is hitting at the center next is curved plate curved symmetric plate when the jet is tangentially hitting and the fourth one is the jet is hitting tangentially but the plate is unsymmetrical so you have understood I, I, I hope you all would have understood what is the uh, how we have derived the equations in finding out the forces exerted on um, the various plates so in the next session in our class I want everybody to um, be active and solve some problems which are related to this uh, I hope everybody uh, have understood the topic if you have any queries you can post in the comments thank you all have a nice day